Hello and welcome to another Beehive feature update. In this video, I'm going to cover updates we've made to our visibility settings related to showing sections, content, and widgets that allow you to set visibility, restricting content to be viewed by anonymous users, free users, premium users, and users who have reached a certain number of referrals. So to demo this, I'm going to go to a post. I'm going to go to this content, which I've already created in the past. I'm going to, once this loads, just show you how this looks normally. I can see that we have this share the turn, we have this presented by, and just regular content down here. Let's say that I want to send this message and I want to have free users receive the email or the newsletter with ads, and I want premium users to not see the ads. I can go to visibility, and I can select here to only show to free or to paid subscribers. Here we can say, I only want to, I don't want to show to premium subscribers, so I can do that. And then let's see if I have a section down here. I do have a section down here that contains the sponsored stuff. So like we could do this. We'll create a section. We want to change this section's visibility to only show to free subscribers. We would uncheck the paid part. If I go back to the preview for a free user, it's just going to show up and it's going to, you're going to see this presented by, and you're going to see this sponsored section. Now, if I go and I select a user who I know has a premium account, this is now going to get rid of that ad. And it's also going to get rid of the sponsored section. So if I wanted to, for example, not have this one be sponsored, I could set the visibility settings like so. The other thing we can do is if we have this section right here where it says not a subscriber yet, sign up today. Let's group this to a section so that we can change the visibility settings. And let's change this to not show to free or premium subscribers. So this is not going to show to anybody who is actually subscribed, but it will show to anonymous visitors on the web. This isn't going to show up in the email, but should show up on the web version. This is what it's going to look like by default on email. And if I look at web, it's going to show up. Because they're a paid user, it's not going to show up because they're already a subscriber, of course. And then if I go to email, it's also going to disappear as well. And there's no sign up call to action whatsoever. But if I go here and delete this and go to web, then it should show up on both cases. In this case, if a random user shows up, they're going to see the ad and they're also going to see the sign up call to action. Now, the last case that we might want to use is if we want users to only see paid content. For example, let's just imagine that I was running this newsletter and I wanted to show this wagers section that gives my picks for who's going to win a particular tournament. And I want to say this is only going to be available to paid users. So if a user is not paying for the subscription or for the newsletter, they're not going to get my picks on who's going to win. That could be something that if I'm a expert may want to make a paid feature. So if I bring all of this content into here and then go to visibility, and we're going to turn this off to free and anonymous users only show it to paid users. If we preview it, by default, we're going to not see it. If it came after this behind the web club spotlight, that's gone. But if I show that pr premium user, again, the ads are now gone, but I am now going to see this wager section. And we can imagine that's a premium only feature. So there's a ton of stuff you can do with this from hiding or showing signup forms to showing premium content. This is a great way to make it so that you can send an email once to both your free and premium users under the delivery settings and ensure that whatever experience the user is going to see is the one that puts your best foot forward. Now, the last thing we're going to do is show how to show content to users based on the number of users that they've referred. So say instead of showing ads to users who are free, you show ads to everyone, free or premium, but you maybe use the referral program as an incentive to not get ads. So in this example, if we go here and we set the visibility setting to show users with a certain referral count equal to zero, that means if a user has no referrals, they will see the ad. Same thing with the second ad down here. We can make that setting show to users with a referral count equal to zero. And then again, maybe in this case, the wagers 
section is also a reward for referring users. And so in this case, show users with the referral count greater than zero. If we go to preview, by default, the user has zero referrals, so the ads are gonna show up and the wager section is gonna disappear. If I go to a user with one referral or more, like this user, we're now gonna see that the ads are gone, but the wager section that is the reward is showing up. So that makes a very easy and powerful way to incentivize the referral program. You can use things like assets, downloads, special content, Really, the sky's the limit to what you can use to incentivize your users to either upgrade to premium or refer other users. As you can see, these are some very powerful features. We're very excited to be sharing them with you. We absolutely cannot wait to see how you use these features to build the next great newsletter. Have a great day.